Hi there, you guys. It's Andrea from andreanordling.com. I want to do a little bonus lesson here on how you can set up a vision board in Trello and have it be searchable so that you can locate all of your dreams and your information about your specific goals later and then also attach them to your calendar. So you know how by now to copy this board. You're going to click the link in this video and copy that board up here in menu. And I guess we'll just do a little reminder, more copy board. Okay, so for a vision board, I think this is really important. And I have this set up in the Big Biz Ideas board as well. You could break it into its own though if you want to. So you have options. Anything that we talk about in this entire course, you can make an entire board for if you want to, if that makes sense in the way that your mind works. So here's what that would look like. In this vision board, I have three lists. This is what works for me. I have a be list, a do list, and a have list. And these are long-term goals and um, ideas and things that I want to obviously be, things I want to do, and things I want to have. And I don't want to forget them. So if you have currently uh, multiple Pinterest boards that are cluttered with images and links and ideas of things that you don't want to forget, but you end up forgetting because you have no idea where they are, this is going to be your solution. Okay, so in the B list, obviously we're gonna make cards for things we want to be. And I'm gonna give a few examples here. So for example, for me, I want to be debt free. So I have a card that says I wanna be debt free. Cool, but I also have some images that come to mind about being debt free and I wanna attach it there and give you an option to show how to do that if it makes sense to you. So open up that card and um, if you need to, you can put in a description about what your card is all about, what it means for you. Make it, make it full of keywords so that you can search it later. And then I'm going to put in an attachment that's an image. You can do that in the comments or you can do it right here with the attachment button. But if you use the attachment button, you won't be able to um, rename that or search it later. And since I do screenshots for this, my I just have like a random screenshot attachment name. So I like to do it in the comments here. I have um, that free image, we'll just call this. Then I click attach and I'm able to go find the image that I just screenshotted a moment ago right here. Take a second to upload, and now this is going to become the cover image for this card. Okay, so debt free. So that's just, I mean, this is a cheesy example of an image that might just inspire you a little bit to remember your goals. And I would like to be debt free by tomorrow if possible. <laughs> so I'm going to set the due date on that to be whatever you need it to be. But using the due date function is going to make your goals more real. It's going to give you a sense of urgency. It's going to make it feel more attainable. So I totally recommend using the due date function. And now when I click out of this card, I have the cover image up on the top. You do not have to keep the cover image there. Now, I think I've showed you this before, but if you don't like that, you can remove the cover. Now your card just is a regular white card again. But since this is a vision board and we want the vision and we want to be reminded of our goals, I like to keep that cover image open. Now I'm gonna show a few more examples. In my do column, I want to, I want to donate 10% of my income. As an example, now I am going to, um, maybe I have a specific charity that I would like to be donating to, in which case then I would write that name of charity here and then attach the image that inspires greatness to go along with this item, which here is the little donate. Um, this isn't a very specific example, save that. Now if I ever want to remember what that charity was, I know that at some point I wrote down a charity that I wanted to donate to, I can type in the word charity up in the search bar here on the top left of the screen. And since I have charity written in this comment, this card will come up and will remind me of what exactly I wanted to do. Okay, so have my last example. I know you guys are getting the hint here, but I wanna show one more thing. I would like to um, have three meals delivered a week. 
This is actually on my vision board and it's more than three meals, truth be told. But I found um, a service in my area that would deliver awesome meals. So it's called Origin Meals. Now, I don't want to forget that because I found this little gem and I don't expect myself to remember. So I want to make sure that I keep track of it. I could put it in the description. Actually, I'll pull up the website here. So I could copy the link and maybe take a photo to remind, maybe take a photo of the menu even so that I can really be very specific about what I want in my life. The more specific, the better always. And then inside that card, I can paste the website name so I don't forget. Uh, maybe I want to even put my keywords in here meal delivery service, so that someday when I want to remember, hey, what was that place that would deliver meals that I thought was gonna be amazing? Um, here I go, I can just type in meals, and this is gonna come up. Attach the image that goes along with it, and now we're good to go. Now obviously you can move these around, set the due dates, do any other customizing you want, but I'm sure you're getting the, the gist here that having your images for display on your Trello boards is really powerful, just like a vision board would be in Pinterest. However, this is searchable. So you can put in your keywords and then know that you're not going to lose your train of thought later and also have something to visit on a regular basis to inspire yourself and remind yourself of what those big goals were. So enjoy your be, do, and have lists, and I'll see you in the next lesson.